video. If I had a photo that I wanted to put on one of those photo blankets, I would first start by drawing a box the size of the photo blankets, which I can't remember. I don't have one handy right now, but let's say it's let's say that box that fits inside the photo blanket is about 12, 12 and a half by nine and a half, or something like that. So I've made the box about that size. I'm using Silhouette Studio software. I'm using the business edition. You probably can do it in the regular edition. I'm not exactly sure. But I always take my box, not always, but for the most part, I'll, I'll make my box with a black out outline, a rec rectangle, because it's not a box, it's a rectangle. And I'll thicken it up over here using this line um, style. Just thicken it up just so I know I have that black outline because there's a black outline on most of those photo blankets. And then I'll grab a photo. There's a couple of ways to do it. Um, let me duplicate this box because I'm going to do it in two different ways. Move it over here. So I would grab the photo I want to work with. And let's say it's um, this one. I'll grab this photo, I'll drag it into that box. Now I have the photo in the box and there's no white space on the outside, which is what someone was asking about. How do you keep from having a white space? There are so many different ways to do it, but this is just one way that I learned to do it myself. You could always go over here. Once you drag a photo into a box like that, a rectangle, you could go over to the open field panel and click on the field pattern box here that's the one two three third box and you can go down to scale now once you have your photo clicked on you can you know change the angles using the rotate pattern you can make it upside down and put it back to where it was you can also use the pan pattern to once you click on pan pattern here you can move this box around how you want it. You can move the photo around how you want it. Put it back to where it was. Or if you want it, you can use the scale here to scale it out. Like you want it to have it larger or smaller, you can scale it out. And, you know, whichever way it goes, you won't have white space in the background. You know, if you wanted to make that small or whatever. So that's, that's one way I do it. And I print that and that would be my panel. Another way that you could possibly do it, just a thought, but let's say you have a photo that's smaller and made on a different angle. You could grab the photo, like here's a family, and you can put the photo into the square, into the rectangle, the square photo into the rectangle. Of course, it doesn't fit that. I mean, you could always... Let me just show you what would happen if you put it into the this one. So you drag it in there, but then you got people missing. And if you square it down, scale it down, you can scale it down using that, but that's different. And I'm sure that's a great way to work with that. I don't have that way because this is how I do it. So I would take this and I would make the photo fit into the box you know, using the, don't ask me the words for this, but I scaled it up and down using the arrows here. And then I know I have it right inside the square like I want it. And if I want to, I can just grab some words and just kind of make it pretty. Family. Um, and then I would make it some fancy lettering. Let me make it black so we can all see it. not black family and then let me duplicate that and just say family love and I would just like drag it here to make it something pretty and family you can always highlight the whole thing and make sure that it's centered and then what I would do probably is just grab, um, let me click on the box and put a background color to it. Here's a nice color there for those chairs. 
to see if we can match that color. So then there's my background. And I will have this picture and I would save it. Remove it. And that would be my one of my panels. I mean that could work, so that's just a thought. Hope it helps.